Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will design a logo for a shoe brand named as Foviro Point. Foviro Point is an upcoming shoe brand specially for the adult males. This is the basic description. You can pause the video and study it yourself. For this brand, the client wants a minimalistic logo with the combination of initial letters, either letter F or the combination of letter F and P. And he doesn't want any shoe design or vector to be a part of the logo, to keep the logo as minimalistic as possible. Now our goal is to design a logo with the initial letter F for Foviro or with the combination of letter F and P, F for Foviro and P for point. But instead of using letter F or the combination of F and P, I will use letter F for Foviro and a dot symbol for point. Now let's continue with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to View and select it to Custom. Again go to View, go to Show and Hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Now go to File and select the Document Properties. Set the display units of the page to Pixels and Custom units to also Pixels. Then change the width of your page to 1280 and height to 720 pixels and simply click on this cross icon like this. Now the presence of two menus in Inkscape is very important for each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu. Simply click on this icon to get fill and stroke menu. And second one is align and distribute menu. Simply click on this icon to get align and distribute menu. Now click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this. Now we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by left clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color or you can say some boundary color by holding down the shift key and clicking on this black color like this. Now select the selection tool and here you can see that we have the option for the width and the height. Simply set the value of width 250 pixels and for height 75 pixels and press enter on the keyboard like this. Now right click on this rectangle and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy in downward direction like this. For this rectangle simply change the value of height to 50 pixels and press enter. Now we want to place this corner of the smaller rectangle at this corner. For this purpose we have to turn on the snapping options. So enable the snapping options by clicking on this icon. Then click on this icon which says snap nodes, paths and handles. Then click on this icon which says snap to cusp nodes rectangle corners like this. Now hold down your left mouse button at this rectangle and drag it towards this corner like this. Now again select this bigger rectangle, right click and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this point. Now we want to place this corner of this rectangle at this corner. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this rectangle and drag it towards this corner like this. Now select all of these shapes and click on this icon which says zoom to fit selection in windows like this. Now we have to turn on another snapping options which is snap to paths. Simply click on this icon to enable this one. Now select the rectangle tool with the left click of mouse. Then move your mouse cursor towards this corner. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard. And also hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse in direction up to this line like this one. Now we will change the color of this rectangle to simply differentiate between the parts. So hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on this red color like this one. Now select the selection tool and left click on this rectangle and hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it towards this corner like this. Now again select zoom to fit page in windows like this one. Right click and select duplicate then click on this icon which says rotate selection to 90 degrees clockwise like this one and drag your object at this corner like this. Now deselect this shape by left clicking on the white area like this. Now hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click once on this red rectangle and then again click on this vertical rectangle like this. Move your mouse cursor to the right side of your screen, scroll down and here we have the option for the align and distribute menu. Simply left click on this option from the relative to select last selected and then click on this icon which says align bottom edges like this one. 
now again deselect the shapes by left clicking on the white area like this and now select this bottom rectangle and press delete on the keyboard now click on this red rectangle and then select the rectangle tool and you can see that three icons are appearing on the rectangle two are rectangular and one is circular simply hold down your left mouse button at the circular icon and drag your mouse in the downward direction up to the possible point like this and your rectangle will be converted into a circle now again select the selection tool and deselect this shape by left clicking on the white area now hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click once on this rectangle again click on this one and also click on this vertical rectangle like this then go to path and select union again go to path and select path effects move your mouse cursor to the right side of your screen scroll down and here we have the option for the path effects menu simply click on this one scroll down and here you can see that a small plus icon is appearing which says add path effect simply click on this one and here we have the option for the corners fillet chamfer simply select this option and then select the edit path by nodes tool and you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every corner of the shape now click on this icon which says zoom to fit selection like this one now simply hold down your left mouse button at this green node and drag it towards the maximum value like this also for this one and also for this one like this once you are done with the rounding corners then simply go to path and select object to path now select the selection tool hold down the shift key and left click once on this circle again go to path and select union now we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this cross icon like this and now we will assign it some solid color so simply left click on any of these colors like this blue color like this one now click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this now select the circle tool and hold down the control key on your keyboard and draw a random circle like this now we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and clicking on this black color like this now again select the selection tool and here you can see that we have the option for the width and the height first click on this lock icon to lock the dimensional properties and set the value of width to 530 pixels and press enter on the keyboard then move your mouse cursor to the right side of your screen scroll down and here we have the option for the fill and stroke menu simply click on this one then go to stroke style and set the value of stroke width to 40 pixels and press enter then go to path and select stroke to path now select both of these shapes again scroll down and select align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and click on this which says center on vertical axis and also on this one center on horizontal axis like this one now we want to create a space for our text so we will decrease the size so hold down the control key on your keyboard and hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse in upward direction like this now go to path and select union now click on this tool which says create and edit text objects then left click on the page and write the name of your brand which is for vero then click on this drop down menu and set the maximum value which is 144 pixels now from here we can change our font so simply write tw sen mt and click on this one from this drop down menu simply select the bold dimensions like this here we have the options for the spacing between the alphabets simply set the value to 10 pixels and press enter then select both of these shapes and click on this icon which says center on vertical axis like this one now deselect both of these shapes by left clicking on the white area then select this text with the left click of mouse hold down the control key on your keyboard and drag your text in the downward direction like this now we want to decrease the size of the text so again hold down the control key and hold down your left mouse button on this handle and drag your mouse in upward direction up to this point like this now again select edit text tool and again click on the page and simply write point for the point simply select the font style to seg which is sego script like this 
now again select the selection tool hold down the control key then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse towards right side of your screen to increase the size of the text like this up to this point now drag your text at this position like this now select all of these shapes and click on this icon which says center on vertical axis like this one now only select your text then hold down the control key and drag your text in downward direction like this now select all of these shapes go to path and select combine now simply set the value of width to 250 pixels and press enter and from the relative to select page and click on this icon which says center on vertical axis and also this one which says center on horizontal axis like this now we are done with our logo design and this is for today's tutorial if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section thanks for watching and have a nice day